eats forward as well as the Astro Utility trying to get in here. They're actually trying to threaten Sick a little bit up top, but they're not looking at the man below. That's Ban and company just getting all kinds of entries. Yeah, the entry from Ban was near flawless just before the fragment comes through, and then the final shot will also connect, leaving Shazam for a 1v4. Obviously not a situation you're going to be feeling all that favorable about, but see if you can at least make it somewhat interesting. Either it's off of kills from exits, or maybe just information as he tries to make a play for a retake. And as he gets the first point of contact versus Ban, nothing there. So good information for Shazam, just kind of peeking the corner, finding some damage, and then backing away. That will force a couple of defenders to start to rotate. If up top, and to get the wall for a bit of high ground, and Ban once again just dashing forward, able to at least retrieve one rifle after the first hill comes out, but can't make any use of it. So now Shazam is kind of stuck behind this slow orb inside arches. Good isolation for the Knights as they make their way on, should lead to a spike plant. Yeah, and that's one of the things Knights are known for on this map is these bursty plays with the Sage boost through window with the barrier. And now it's going to force Sentinels to have to play a retake here. Ten's able to get it back into a 3 versus 3, and they do have a lot of utility and the superior firepower. They also have Frosty down very low on HP, which definitely stole away in. Well, it's going to be a stack from the staircase, spamming things down. Ziff only able to collect one. Frosty still staying concealed by the double boxes, though close. Now here's the reload, makes his position known, and capitalizes quick. Don't let them get comfortable in one of these lobby areas. Try to get an early oh. pick, and well, there you go. Tent's out middle. It's going to burn that res early, but the re-peak is punished. Here through the windows that they're known for on their stage. They're just going to try to get in here quick, and yeah, they're getting in here. They're closing out market with utility. Oh. They're trying to get the switch, but that person, they don't check him. There's also Odin in the back of the site. Bam's able to take down one off the plant though, Dapper, 1v1, sees the shoulder of Ban, takes the peak, finds the fourth, 1v1 now with Ziff on the site, gets the information, you can't hide that ponytail, but Ziff will back away just for a small moment, Zoms has made his way on towards site, and Ziff may not know this, but maybe a chance to isolate, no, Sentinels, Dapper brings is not just his individual clutch, but his different looks setup wise, have been really, really cool. This time, a lot of that being stacked up towards three. And as the lockdowns create a bit of a Venn diagram through mid, here comes the hit. Ban has to actually push through all of that utility from the placement of Dapper. And, well, they do get their way onto site, but it's not what I would call clean. And oh. Dapper reveals his position up time for another double and then just toying with his food. <laughs> Ziff, nowhere to go. And Dapper is split down. Good pop flash. You're going to push oh. the attack back and give Sentinels a little bit of intel and kind of confirm this. And now here comes... The alt, and here comes the kill from Zoms. So good. The null command completely putting this attack into essentially what is a crawl. Scuba, though, able to work his way forward. That's decent for another elimination, but the problem is it's him and Gangsta versus what's going to feel like the world, especially with Sentinel stacked up towards heaven like this. Ten's a little bit of a peek over the top of the generator. Nothing there. It placed on both sides of this attack. 15 seconds to go. Six still holding close, though. Doesn't just get one. Gets so much damage through some collided shots. Now down to 10 seconds as Frosty eventually gets the trade. Spike trying to be planted. Six seconds of the clock and Sentinels are going to allow this to happen as they set up for a retake. They're fine with that though. They got sick a two for one trade to give them man advantage on this retake. Now that's brilliant from Sentinel's side of things. Now they just need to capitalize no. and well, that's a good start in the right direction. Defensive cause would divide blocks off a main. Frosty down low. Sees 10's cross, but there's really nothing that he could do from there. The help pull's just way too low. Six forward position, just in, and the flash will again delay any inevitable hit that's coming through. Even sends out the Nulkly to find there, as that was Sick who was put in detainment, and now he's recovered. 12 seconds on the clock, you've got to make a move, you've got to go quickly. Sick is still in a position to watch a lot of this cross, but Ban is able to help out. Two kills coming through, but time is the biggest problem here. Spike's starting to be planted, and the kills will... ...in those, like, chaotic, scrappy trade frag moments, they just came out huge, and wow. Sentinels in some time. Under Fury out, Sick. Flashy gets so much value off the pop flash, but can forward through this cosmic divide, waiting to see if anyone's going to come out. And Shazam over the backside through tree actually is able to collect another elimination. So this is actually very doable, especially oh. with the chip damage that comes through. But Ban makes the numbers advantage that steeper. It'll be now a 3v1. Scuba oh. will tally up the final onto Shazam here, leaving just Dapper on this recollection through mid. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Ban and Gangster are low on hell, so it's not impossible for Dapper, but with no information... It's going to be tough. They're playing two under and Scuba playing on. A little bit of a headshot ink, not too shabby. We'll see what they can do here defensively on this very crazy split here from Sentinels. And it's a rapid one. They've already found a lot of space on B.
However, Frosty, the Nano Storms will give a little bit of time and space to work with while the defense starts to rotate, and they're doing it kind of in a split fashion. You got a flank from either side coming through, so Sentinels, you need to win from the front or delay these flanks from happening, and they're kind of winning the war on both fronts at the moment as kills will be collected very rapidly, leaving Scuba left alone through B main, and three different Sentinels members looking right at him. There's the suppression dapper on the peak behind it. <laughs> I'm gonna come out, get shut down right away by Shazam. That's oh. big, and it's starting to get to B lobby. Lots of damage being exchanged, but Frosty's the one coming out on top here. Tins does rattle back with the Marshall and avoid. Underneath half HP, Scuba, Nebula up. Sees the shots coming through. Actually, he's taking so much damage right now, but just wants to deny the spike from getting forward. Ten seconds on the clock. Sick trying to play from topside heaven. Finds himself a rifle to work with. Zero point comes through, but again, the spike is still not on site, and that will be likely it unless they can find this kill on a Frosty, nope. who is very avid. You've oh, got oh. an opportunity through mid. Ah. Bring this really unique individual play that can be so impactful, but that's a great trade back. A great little double peek there from Knights at Mar. Ziff and Gangster were the only two players to not get into full ARs this round. Still just the Sheriff for Ziff. Anno Storm to clear off this initial cover towards Heaven. Dapper still holding on to sight. Support from Sick. A lot of utility to spend here, but Frosty, as there is a reveal on the Zoms, they do collect at least one elimination. Dapper's position now revealed. But the biggest issue largely is Shazam from this advanced angle, but how about it? Gangster's actually able to not just take them down, but actually finds the third in the round, leading it to a 1v1. Ziff does collect a rifle. So an even battle, largely speaking, but Sick holds it tight. Wins the 1v. Sealed. Null Command comes out. Hunter's Fury to follow. And Scuba gets dealt with by a Nano Swarm. That is unfortunate to say the least, but there's at least a couple of counter trades to come through for the Knights. One of them being on towards Sick, but it's a very easy resurrection in the position that he had fallen. Yep. So we get to a 4v3. The cross being watched by Gangsta, but Sentinels, largely with all these smokes, will get on. Yeah, I think that's the most important point. A sick god in a place where he could be easily res. A lot of times that that uh, you know KO might just zamp up. Now Frosty is low on HP, and yeah, like you said, that lockdown is going to force them into known post plant positions. But Shazam breaks it. But now he's the all problem alone. is he loses his teammate. One v three. Everybody knows where Shazam is. Shock Dart does connect for a little bit. They're able to get one, but nothing more. Ziff very wisely steps off the initial toggle. And they are going to move pretty darn quickly here. But it's oh. Pan who's able to find the first headshot. That will completely stop Sentinels in their track. And Pan, I think he's very really oh. understanding that there's more players that are here. But Sick does at least find one trade. But it's a two for one overall off of what is essentially a free economy play from Ban. Good stuff from that the Knights nice defensively. So brilliant. So brilliant how he chased down that recon ball and got a, basically a free frag, which is Am making some headway onto this B site. Might be able to save the day here. Looking for another, Whoa. gets it onto Gangsta. That's massive. Scuba does fight back, but it's an even two on two. And they have site control now for Sentinels and time. Zero point will be able to scout out the playthrough market. Alarm bot trying to keep the backside steer. Time's starting to become a bit more of a problem. Sick trying to take an off angle. Denied. Leaving it to Dapper, 1v2. Gets the opportunity for the first, collects it, and does it very quickly! It's Dapper for the double! A 1v2 and a Red Bull clutch for Sentinel! Omen is Zombs, but I put emphasis on that because the spike looks like it very well may want to... Look at this, Scuba able to get back in. I think he might get attacked by the zero point, though. Dodges it. it does get hit heavily by the Nanostorm. To follow, does it make a difference, Scuba? At least is able to take down one with his life. Lockdown now fades. Spike being planted, the Khazar divide shortly to divide also from this position through the long side at A. Recon bolt the nine. Bando on the way in. Ziff up top, good for the first. Can Sentinels hold this? It's a 2v3 on towards Sight. Shazam collects a headshot but cannot firm the kill. And with that, Knights will cleanly re- There should be an adjustment here. Whoa. Oh, what a poke from Ban. They're able to get out onto Switch, but they're still a man down. Sick has been whittled to such low HP. It's gonna be such a tough breakthrough that he has to try to do now, and he's down. Spike Nothing there, but Shazam at least confirms one trade. Sentinels jumping down together, spamming through the nebula. Take a second with them. Ban up top, not able to connect with the operator. 3v3 as Dapper plants. The retake still needed, but there's plenty of time to set this up if you're the Knights. Not a lot of tools to necessarily use here. Outside of just the weaponry that you bring to the table. Zom's watching one side, Dapper the other. Shazam the last one that would peak. Here's Dapper, tested and eventually denied. Shazam following up. He would have to get the full ace and he may just do it. No! Scuba shuts it down and we... Take so much damage along the way. Oh, oh my God. and Scuba's not even pushed all. Scuba still holds an advanced angle here. This is getting so dangerous. He's still standing tall. Finally cleared out by Dapper, but he's done so much damage.
Oh, and Ban does hold the angle. Spamming through the Null Command is Gangsta. This is a full buy, by the way, for Sentinels. They're going to have no economy going into the next round. Zoms, can you do anything? Not at all. Trying to get Sick back into the picture. Will not be allowed as a full bodyguard line of Knights members will guard not just the res, but also the spike, leaving Shazam in a 1v3. Nothing. Shock Dart does at least connect. Spike planted. Knights taking their time with this. And they eventually do connect on the scuba. Up top, the rest of the Knights are fully funneled. And look at the information off the dart! Resurrection will come through, but Tens wants to take the angle away. Finds another kill in a frost. He earns the knives. Tens for a fourth. Could potentially go for the six pack here. Has the next player up in ban, but ban denies. Knives of his own. 3v2 on this retake. Time becoming a problem. Shazam deep. Able to find one more. Long range shot's not going to connect. 1v2. Not going to happen. Zombs. Sentinels. Somehow. Setting several teams along the way. Oh. But Sentinels are not done, man. <laughs> I mean, there's so much utility on this A side right now, man. And oh, Tins man. gets another on this on the <laughs> server. So let's see if they can break through. There is that grab. That slows him down yet again. Now it's just Anson in position. Tens. Goodness. He's looking like Mel Gibson in the Patriot. He's just everywhere. He's on A. He's on B. He's back on A. He's back on B again. Man, not safe. Has to start to back away. Still wants one. He's able to take it, but there is a trade to come through as Tens is still pushing forward. Ziff on a cross on top of his own barrier orb could do nothing. And a Stapper takes down Gangsta. The numbers start to him out. Here comes the Flood. The only defensive player inside the site would be Frosty. And there's not a lot of utility for him on hand. He would have to get some help from Scuba. And he the Sentinels do still have some clip holds, though, on this site. And now the info comes through with that blip on double stack box. But in the meantime, Ziff and Scuba also strike. It leaves Shazam alone. 1v2. He does have spike. He's got time. He'll get the plant, but this is a tougher clutch for him to handle. No utility. No recon bolt. Has to oh, do hi. this the old-fashioned way. He sees both. I'm sure the pleasantries exchange were anything but pleasant, and Ziff will make sure this overtime continues. Takes the 1v1 backside boat. Route that's taken. So now Dapper, once again, from this position, would have to do something unbelievable. And they're not going to be able to. It's only a one-for-two trade. Tens quickly trying to rotate over, but they've already made their way through. Spike could be planted, and it will be. Gangsta now locking things down. It looks like Tens actually wants to try to contest this early. Zero point will come through. Imagining it will get a lot of suppression, if not information. But you got to find a way to still capitalize on this take. There's the flash. Tens now to peak. Takes the first. Looking for the double. It's Tens on two. Last player left alive for the Knights is Frosty. It'd be a 1v3 for him. He gets the second. A 1v1. Bang! Frosty for three. And it's the Knight. Version one last week, if we're honest, but... Now they're going up against what has been considered the top team in NA for so long. For practically a whole year, Sentinels have been on the throne of North America. Yes, they've had plenty of contenders come passing through. Yet Different look this time as Ban has gone to the greedy buy of the Operator, and it does pan out again. Not the greatest dash in the world, but hey. Faint, though. They still have that spike, like you said, with tents on the other side. But they're just getting... They're all gathering up a lobby. They can try to burst in here, sure, but... I mean, they're just getting pummeled. Yeah, you have to rely that Ban will miss a shot and you can immediately trade, and that is at least the initial call. The problem is possible. Shock dart over the top brings Zoms down to 4 HP and also denies the plant. Now all the members of the Knights still here, 20 seconds on the clock. Zoms trying to plant for Shazam, who knows at this point that he's going to probably have to clutch from this backside A. And Shazam could get flanked. He has no idea. This is so stressful. Oh, and it's not clean. Not clean from Shazam, it's good. Great right on both sides of the map. Then their only loss was 11 to 13 against Gen.G. And they beat international competition on this map. You know, they beat yeah. the likes of Fnatic over at Long B here. Also, they have Hookah control. They're setting up this B split. Yanks is here trying to re-clear, though. There are a lot of members that are low HP for Sentinels, but this pinstripe kill feed here from Ban. Maybe he can try to catch a timing on and try to unlock a way to retake. But as it stands, Sentinels have the three on two, and Shazam's watching for the oh. flank and capitalizes. And yet... Yeah, this is still Sentinels being the Kings. They're just going to burst through with that Showstopper. Looking for space. Sick gets the kill with the Showstopper. Good catch from Ban, though, to lock down Octagon. Yeah, this is big. That's a big kill to get just to have... Oh, now it's gone. Well, short-lived. Sick playing again forward in the Nebula. This time nobody expects it. Still surviving on low HP. Takes another two with him. Leaving Ziff for a 1v3, and he will not get the best of 10. The come paint shells is being held the entire time defensively, so Scuba now on site. Trying to get a little bit of help from the Guiding Light, but it's Sick who's able to find one. Tens responds. Blind Showstopper to the Nebula defensively will find absolutely nothing. 
And now 10 starts to tee off just a touch. 4v2 situation. Spike gets planted. 10's on three. And it all falls on to Gangsta, who can do nothing but fall to the rifle of Dapper. Five. Zom's completely caught off guard. That'll be good for a first ball. Dapper wants to try to take this back. Collects the first kill, but there'll be nothing to test through market. Oh. And oh, no. It goes down. Scuba oh. gets the informational read, and that will be good. Another elimination for sick. This aggression from Knight's working out nicely so far. Yeah, it is. I just feel like Sentinels weren't checking a couple of key corners. Like, they really probably should have cleared out Hookah there with Sick when he was trying to backtrack. And now, yeah, they're just getting a wrench thrown in the middle of the things here. It's all on to Shazam. Just getting one through the blender. They, they had such good crossfires. He was able to start picking apart a couple of fights here, but wow. just runs out of HP in the end. Scuba Wolf in the left-hand side. So he has Dapper holding his right while he's trying to poke this left. Uh, gets caught, still though. gets one. Frosty on the corner nearly takes down more. Seekers comes through. There's the guiding light. Even pushing through the snake bite ban will collect his double. But the position over through Octagon was never defensively held. Al Drone scouted that out, but Ban still pushing forward has denied more space through mid. And it's just again, I I, I love this from Knights for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. The first being they're not backing down to Sentinel's aggression. No, they're not at all. The ten still still has a chance. Maybe Ban's not quite at the angle to face together, but as soon as he comes out, they are. Oh, and yeah, Ban gets out to open space with that guiding light and gets to come to Shazam and gets away, but Sentinels are quick to react into who could even it back up and get space on the site. So it's going to be a retake here from the side of Knights as Span is stuck by Teleporter. Zoms will collect, and now it's a 3v2. But Scuba on the opposite side. He finds timing onto Zoms. Just up to Dapper. 1v2. It's the first through the backside of the Viper's pit. Viper on Viper action. Scuba up top. Nothing there. Dapper comes up clutch once. In. Toxic screen over through U-Haul. They get full information onto Ziff, and space has been fully cleared. Blindly, the showstopper near the end of its fuse will be thrown over towards showers. It's not connect even for damage. And once again, sick in a very advanced position. Denied as Scuba just runs and guns him from the corner. Ban on the flank. Gonna collect another. And then even behind that, there's oh, tens no. to try to challenge. Shazam will eventually get the tray, but it comes at a huge cost. 3v2 we go. Yeah, a little bit sloppy here from Sentinels in the post plant, but Shazam at least reels it somewhat back into control, but they're still down a man. It's up to Zom's trying to haul up this Lance push. He does get what he needs, and it sets up the 1v1 for Shazam against Frosty. Oh, he gets, gets info. the info at the recon ball. He's trapped in the corner, however, that's the oh! problem, and Frosty runs him down. And even with low HP, he'll come up with the clutch, and that's a big round. And they just weren't watching for it at the right time. Yeah. Also, I, I think maybe Sick went a little bit for too much there in the back halls. They just played the five on four more safe towards short A. Either way, either here nor there. Now we see the big entry from Tiz with daggers. Maneuver yep. to avoid that hookah. Oh, but the pink shell. Gangsta, no utility at the moment. Neither does Scuba. So here they go. Kens reads the first. Knives out. He collects. And the last one left is Scuba. Nothing he could do there. Too many members to deal with. Sentinels recover. Through this nebula and guiding light, Ten still has an angle and punishes Ban. So far, though, for Sentinels, good stuff on this way through. Even using the... Hunter Siri to clear off backside of Elbow. Sick just making sure nobody gets into sight. And the spike gets planted. 5v2. Scuba from the back. He would have to do something unbelievable just to even create space for Zip to work with. He's already being chewed up by shock darts. Yeah, it's just Sentinels being so explosive, so reactionary off Utility that here, though. Pick. Yeah, maybe, but they're still just so far behind. And all the angles are being covered. Zip, though, gets a couple from Elbow. What's happened here? It's short-lived. <laughs> short-lived. Information. Sick catches a shoulder, paint shells immediately as the response, and whoa, wait a second, backing oh. through the guiding light was banned, and that actually works out nicely, because Zoms was completely deterred by the flash ban, even finding more now with the frenzy, but Sick quick to recover the lamp's position as Scuba gets the plant off, paint shells to flush him away, but that actually does more than that, it finds the kill, and now all of a sudden Sentinel's lost with two. Yeah, it's true. He's in the sewers. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get into Sentinel's attempt at a retake here. <laughs> Stafford's going to catch Ziff with the Frenzy, but they're still pretty far behind here. <laughs> Promise it wasn't let on that purpose. one. I'll let that one sit there. Yeah. Gravity well will make life a bit difficult for Dapper. Tens at least finding one response kill, but time becoming a problem. He's going to have to try to hold for this eventually. Double swing comes through, and oh my goodness, nearly. It's a touch. Yep. Here they come. Grapple on snake bite come in. Shock dart no clears under heaven and it allows him to get out and to open the fight. But Dapper is just catching them all from elbow with that. Obviously he's got pressure to his left and then immediately more Sentinels members to deal with. Gets two, not bad, but largely attack. Yeah. Well Frosty is going to make the way over. They're actually not going to fully even bother trying to regrowth. And Sick is going to take down two just by way of the paint shells. Three utility by the way. 
So as Ganks is able to take one in return, the second set of paint shells finds more. Sick almost acing with just one ability. Eventually, there is at least some eliminations to speak of for Knights. Shazam backing away, but cannot get out of the line of sight of Frosty. And it turns into a Frosty 1v3 in technicality. And he will not expect Zom to lurk back. Good trailblazer stuns Tins, a chance to catch him, but he's able to dash away. On good counter paint shells once again to come through. Sentinel's defense looking just as sturdy as you'd expect. Ziff only able to find one piece of even marginal silver lining as Zoms will take them. Eventually very rapidly turning the page towards Haven here. And Sentinels are just a little bit of a different beast when you catch them on their side of the map pool. Like if you catch them oh, on a vulnerable real. map like Split has been for them lately or even the Scent hasn't been played as much for them. And Tens has read this. They both chip away at each other as the take towards A is trying to come through. Sick even moving very quickly, but Frosty is given so much space, he does at least take down one with him. Tens able to get the trade, but as the spike gets planted, Dapper is going to use that as a chance to just mix the toxins. And that will lead to an opportunity to try to retake, and Dapper finding the third elimination means it's all on to Scuba. Oh boy. This would be a very difficult 1v3, but both Viper's pit kind of intersecting means that decay will happen on both sides. Scuba holding in a corner. There's a good first elimination. Dapper toggles for the spike. Looking to rechange up where exactly he's positioned. He's found himself some actual time to work with here. Dapper's down to 1 HP off the decay. Shazam is not necessarily what I would call healthy, but Shazam takes away the back angle. Gets the confirmed trade. No 1v3 here. Sentinels will take map number 2, 13-5. Well, here we go. Quick take already making its way through Garage as Sentinels will find the first Blood Zombs coming back up. The delayed peak happens through Long. Ziff is not able to respond to it, but there are a lot of low health pools. Maybe a chance to take a couple more with him, but not going to happen as Ban had gotten slowed up by a trademark. This will lead to a very quick... ...classic way you're used to seeing on this map, you know, with the cage, with, uh, you know, agents. I mean, he's even played well, true, different yeah. agents on Icebox at times. He's played Viper, you know, and so he has been able to show the ability to cross when he's needed oh. to as Sentinels just run Knights through the blender of that beast to get on this map. That's my point. I think you'd even argue that when they were tested by decent teams, they got kind of blown out of the water in a way. Yep. But we get into this round. Defensively trying to hold strong is Scuba, but it's Sick who did the double. Numbers good for Sentinel. Spike now making its way down. Ziff looking to possibly threaten early. It's a high stack here for Sick. The kill does come through, dashing away. And his band will heal that up. Now it's on to the timing for Dapper. Shazam's going to back away, giving a little bit of space for these members to jump on into sight. And as they do, Shazam makes his move. Ziff looking oh to follow up, but there will be no chance as Shazam takes a double of his own. In. The scary thing here, too, okay. is Ban is able to find at least one nice headshot in is, you know, coming forward. Oh, goodness. Span opportunity for multiple? Surely not. Surely not. Well, Ban's going to use the Seekers here. Tens is going to threaten early to at least deny. That'll leave a weapon to be collected. Not a lot of time on the clock here. But Ban moving, trying to check to see if Tens has gone high. Not the case. It's Tens on the low swing. Still an opportunity to find this elimination. Tens will eventually take care for what that Hunter's Fury. Mm. Ziff still hiding in the corner. Seekers come out, though, to allow them to get some intel. There are defenders towards Sewer's position, but knowing's half the battle, they need to get out the frags, and now they start oh, so much flowing in. Catch that, Frosty. I have the spike. Scuba, now the last one left. 1v2 situation. Hazard Divide will fade, as Scuba will have a chance to get in here. Actually slips through the star placement of Zoms. Had an opportunity for the 1v1, but Zoms be able to do so safely. I was gonna say the nanostorm has never toggled. Defensively are still contesting from the front side. Zip though, an unbelievable quick scope on the tents for the first elimination. Gangsta looking to put some pressure on towards the defuse. Sentinels looking to check this. Flash comes out halfway on the lockdown, but here comes the follow-ups. 3v1. Sick last one left. Trying to hold him on the back side of sight, but will not be allowed. Oh, yeah, because the trailblazer went sewers. He's just walking up. Oh, Ban, though, checks it. So good. Good isolation to follow on to Dapper as well. So now it's on to Tens with this Blade Storm to jump on in. Updraft first and foremost. Ban is just holding the same angle, though Tens not expecting that. Turns into a double for Ban. Ziff now on the way forward. Good with the operator for one. And Gangsta follows up beautifully. Knights only drop. Fury, but good dash. Oh, oh goodness, the updraft was not exactly perfect, but Scuba actually keeps things safe and then Zip turns the aim back over towards Garage Alley for a second. 
Dapper still in the same position as Shazam is able to at least get one confirmed trade, but with this pressure, Dapper's oh. gonna go to the rendezvous and finds himself a free angle on the ban, but Zit still holding strong, denies Sentinel's intention, which was a push through C. Long, last peak, not gonna come through! Imminent. Ziff backed up, has to go to the blades as he's oh, no. caught on sight and, and revealed. Will drop Goomba in the back corner, doesn't finish the second kill! Oh. oh, he tried to transfer just a touch too early and Sick will punish! Cosmic Divide coming through. Van and Frosty, the last two defenders left. And that stun stops him from trying to punish around the wall before it finishes blooming. He now tries to stun and guy light himself in. Does get the flash here. Okay. Gets a kill. But Sentinels mop up from that point forward. Such a strong C burst play from in sewer. So they decide to put that pressure on front B instead, kind of bypassing that. No tins with way. such a beat. Oh. And Dapper's cutting off the rotation at length. Oh, he gets caught though. What a shot from Ziff. And now a lockdown for the retake. The fact that Ziff even expects that in the first place is unbelievable. Lockdown comes through, but it's immediately destroyed. Tens responds once again, playing aggressively through the defensive spawn. Frosty, the next contestant, nothing there. And Sentinels finished the half eight. Flash comes through. Here goes Tens. Not going to get through though. Sick actually flows. Maybe even good for a kill or two. As Tins actually picks one off as well at B, and now Shazam can strike, but oh. he dismisses everything, and now a site will be taken. Zoms, though, actually decides to come in and play with the Frenzy. Could he disrupt this? Nanostorm pushes that one side, Guiding Light in the other, but Scuba takes the head right off of Zoms. And what a pistol this has been from Knights. All of the early pressure from Sentinels denied. Dapper has existed through the Nebula. Tens up top, a little bit of a fight coming through, but as Dapper falls... It's all up the tens. What can you do? Tries to get rid of the sentry turret. A little more resilient than I thought he thought it was. Yeah, he's... And yeah, everyone's just looking up. <laughs> everyone's just... It's, it's no way. Yeah, bro. They're all stargazing down there. <laughs> just waiting for them to come out. And that's going to be it. And yeah, you feel... And pistols the rest of the way. Zom's in actually a pretty considerable amount of trouble here. He gets pulled into there. That's going to lead to a spike plant. Yeah, great shit. Things already a man down. Knights have such good post by positioning, but okay, look at this. Clean coming through. Frosty going to be overwhelmed, and as Gangsta and Scuba will back up to play this a little bit differently. Tens is already sticking for the defuse. No one is quite able to get here to deny that halfway point, but as Scuba finds one, it allows a chance for Gangsta to try to swing. Regrowth coming through. Still plenty of time for Sentinels to keep playing around with this. There's the... This is scary. Oh, they might not boy. check it. <gasps> oh! The Guiding Light plays Bodyguard and Frosty gets the kill. There's no way, dude. <laughs> How many pellets did that bird just eat for breakfast? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and Ziff is able to finally come through. He got regrowthed up and tens will fall. 5v3. Man, still playing a little bit of a gatekeep here through Garage. What has happened here? Sentinels, do you even try for this? Sick is going to try to flash forward, but he'll be denied. That flies in the middle of a bit of retake here. But now, these counter shock darts are slowing down their progress onto a site, allowing Sentinels to get into better positions. No and look at this! Tins and Shazam! Clamp down Tins over the top with the alt for the first. And Shazam chimes in as well. And oh, Ban gets caught Ban? also. No way! Man plays forward, trying to take away the link, and now all of a sudden Tens has the freedom to come back into sight! There's no way it happens that easily for Sentinel's retake! Oh man, it's just the counter utility from Sen I think it does too. Especially this last one that's still clearing out A-Long. Now Zom's in towards Garage, good for one. Tens up top, the next one to be tested on this defense. And from the elevated position, he's able to burst right back away after his first elimination. Scuba trying to still work forward, but Knights are being picked apart. Oh no, Dapper on the way through gets more. Not a lot oh of time, my. and it's Dapper who just puts the nail in. Two defenders on the site, though, for Sentinel. Zip over the top. <gasps> Does not find it! No way. It's an immediate rendezvous away at the last second. Zom's still holding on to site. Gets three. And Tens has information that Frosty's close. <laughs> From on this garage and B defense with Tens elevated, gets that further way through defense, Link. Though. Dapper already on, like you mentioned. Still have a number of defensive members here for Sentinels, but it's going to be yeah. Bannon Scuba that take care of everybody to a piece, and that's good for a plan. And the second one may actually finish him. He's down to about one HP, and oh, Shazam does find the lower map three. Yeah, that's wild because they lose that initial pick at middle of Tens. They try to pivot into a C play, but I mean Sentinels are already there with four players looking to. Really hold, they had a player at plat, they had a player back halls, I think one center site, so they had good positioning to stop that cross from Garage, but...
and he gets the chance. The Nebulas all encompass the choke points, but Sentinels are already again still in sight. Ziff, huge first blood in this engagement towards Zombs, but Dapper, Dapper, the double, but nothing behind it. Frosty confirms the sight, and with that also the spike being planted. Tens and Shazam in a 2v2. The shock darts chewing away a lot of the health so far, leaving Scuba a 1v2 to extend the map. Playing from Link. Tens over the top. Not gonna get the best of Shazam though on the first point of contact. Oh. 